Hey everyone, my name is Ryan and in today's video we're going to be hosting a Strappy project on Heroku. Now in this video we're going to be following the tutorial that I made on my blog. So if you want to go to that, you can go to ryancarmody.dev slash blog slash how to host your Strappy project on Heroku. Um, but let's get into it. So there's a couple of prerequisites before we go on to step one. I am assuming that you already have a Strappy project, you have Node installed, you have Git installed, you have a GitHub account and you have a Heroku account. If you don't, you can jump onto the blog uh, post and you can click on these ones here. These ones are all free, but let's get on to step one. So I did say that I assumed that you had a Strappy project, but just in case you don't, you can run this command here and that creates a Strappy project. And if you're interested in seeing me create a blog with Next.js, Strappy and GraphQL, um, there is a link to that video just here. But I've already created a Strappy project. It is this one just here and it is running locally and it's got one collection type, uh, which is a blog post and I've got a couple of blog posts here. So this is my first blog post and this is my second blog post. Cool. Uh, so let's go on to step two. So uh, when we deploy it to Heroku, we're going to be connecting it to a Postgres uh, database. So we need to install a couple of packages. So you can use NPM or Yarn. I'm going to use Yarn and I'll jump to my project, open a new window and I'll install that one. So just give that a second. Cool. And I'll also install this package here. So give that a second. Cool, so that is done. Uh, so we can move on to step three, which is adding our database.js file. So we've already got a config folder and inside of that folder, we want to create a new folder called env. And inside of that, we want to create a new folder called production. And then inside of that folder, we want to create a database.js file. And we want to paste in this code here. So let's go ahead and do that. So here's our config folder. We'll create a new folder here called env. And inside of this one, we'll create a new folder called production. Cool. And inside of that, we'll create our database.js file. Cool. And all we need to do is paste in that code there and save it. Awesome. All right, let's move on to step four. So we're going to push this project to GitHub because we're going to be connecting our Heroku account to GitHub. Uh, I'm assuming you already know how to do this, but just in case you don't, uh, I will show you. So I'm in my GitHub account and I'm going to create a new repository. So uh, maybe I'll call this YouTube. YouTube Strappy project. I'll make it a public repo and I'll create that one. And inside of my Strappy project, I'll just go git init. I will jump into the git ignore and I'll just come down to the bottom here and I am going to uh, ignore the yarn lock file. Um, cool. So I can go git add, git commit. Uh, cool, and if I jump back here, just take this one. Just give me one sec. Cool, and I'll push this one up to GitHub. So give that one second. Cool. So if I refresh this page now, uh, our project is here. So that's exactly what we want. So let's go back to the um, well, to step five. And step five is creating a Heroku app. So um, this is my Heroku account. So I'm just going to go, well, this is the dashboard. So I'm going to go new, create new app. And I'm going to call this, um, well, let's just call it YouTube. You can call it whatever you want and we will create app. And from the instructions, we want to 
Oh, it's step six. We want to connect our GitHub repo to Heroku. So let's jump back into Heroku. Um, so if you're not already on this deploy tab, uh, you might be on this overview tab. We'll just click deploy and we'll say GitHub here under deployment method. Now mine's automatically connected because I'm already connected, but you might have to click a button. I think it's connect to GitHub or something like that. But once you've got this screen, you can go search and this will bring up all of our repos. So we're just looking for this one. Uh, so YouTube Strappy Project. So we'll connect it. Cool. And we are going to enable automatic deploys. Awesome. Um, yeah, so we're not going to manually deploy it just yet. The first thing we need to do is to uh, add a Postgres database. So I just jump back to the overview section and I'm going to click uh, configure add-ons, but you can also click resources. It takes you to the exact same place. And here in add-ons, we're going to search for Heroku Postgres. And there's a whole bunch of plans here, you know, they go down to $16,000 a month, but we're just going to choose Hobby Dev, the free tier, and submit the order. Cool, so that is attached as the database. So if we click into settings now, uh, and we review the config variables, you'll see that we've got a, a database URL, which was needed in the database.js file. So now what we can do, we can go back to deploy, and we can deploy that branch. So we'll click that one and that will take a couple of minutes. Cool. So that has successfully deployed to Heroku. Uh, if you do get an error here, it might be because you've pushed up um, a package dot package lock.json file because I'm using yarn so I didn't or I get ignored yarn.lock uh, but maybe well, if you used npm you want to uh, ignore the package lock.json so remove that from your github and try to redeploy it if you did get an error uh, but let's keep moving so if we jump up to the top of this page here and click open app uh, it's going to give us an application error because we do have to do a couple more things so let's go back to um, the blog and we've gone, we've done step seven because that's, we added uh, Heroku Postgres as a database. And the last thing we need to do is add the required environment variables. So if we go back in to our Strapi project and we go to the .env, you'll see that uh, well, other than host and port, we've got these other environment variables. So app keys, API token salt, admin JWT secret and the JWT secret. Um, so we're gonna have to set them on the Heroku side. Um, so the way we do that, and we've already actually been into it, is we go back to settings and we click here, reveal config vars. So we've got our database URL, but we just have to add those four in. So let's go here and copy this. Now, what are the values gonna be? Uh, we're going to put in base 64 um, strings of length 32. So if we go back to here, um, I've got a link to a website that will generate these. So if we click on this one, I had it just here, but um, we can change this to 32 and we can just generate those base 64 strings. So I'm going to copy that and go here and put it here. And we'll grab this one. Uh, so this will just take me a second. Cool. So they have all been added in. Uh, so if we just jump back here, uh, we also want to add just two more environment variables while we're here. We want to set node EMV to production and my Heroku URL to it's your app name dot Heroku app dot com. So let's set this one and we'll go here and that is going to be cool. And we will also set my Heroku URL. And if you don't know it, you can click on open app and give that a set. Okay. 
and it's going to be this one just here. So put that one there. Oh, actually, it's going to be the whole thing. Cool. Uh, so we'll just give this a refresh. One second. Cool. So your Strappy project is now live on Heroku. So we can go here. Uh, we can go to, whoops, not that, to slash admin. Uh, it's going to prompt us to create a super user. So give that a sec. Cool. So yeah, let's go ahead and create a user. Awesome. And we'll click let's start. And here we are. So we can go into the content manager. You'll notice that the content that we have on our local system uh, didn't get pushed up to here. Um, but that is expected. But we do have this blog, po blog post um, uh, collection type. So we won't be able to create new collection types up here. You know, it doesn't give us uh, an option. When it's deployed to Heroku, you have to do that locally, then push those changes up. Um, but yeah, you can come in here and you can create a new entry, etc, uh, etc. Et so you're live now on Heroku and you're ready to use your uh, Strapi application. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe to my channel and like this video if you did enjoy it. Uh, and check out my blog if you would like to do that as well.